This tutorial is a tour of the app titled iBooks. If you do not already have the iBooks app on your device, you may download it at the Apple's App Store. You'll notice the icon for iBooks is in the lower right hand corner of my screen. To follow along, tap the iBooks icon. When you tap the iBooks icon, it will show you wherever you left off last using this software. I left off at my bookshelf. Let's go ahead and open up one of the books on the bookshelf to give you a tour. We'll start with the book titled Winnie the Pooh. The book will open up to the last page that you viewed when you read the book. In this case, the book has both text and graphics. To turn the page, simply swipe, in this case, from left, to me, right to left to turn to the next page in the book. As you move from page to page in the book, you'll notice that the slider at the bottom edge of the book adjusts. You can also move from page to page by dragging the slider across to locate the page you'd like to read. You'll notice in the lower right hand corner, it indicates the number of pages left in your current chapter. Let's take a look at some of the menus at the top. You'll notice in the top right hand corner, is a bookmark icon. If you tap the bookmark icon, the red bookmark will appear showing that you have bookmarked the page. You will also notice a magnifying glass icon. If you tap that icon, you can type in a word to search the text. You'll be presented with a list of all of the instances of that word within the book so that you can choose which section that you'd like to go to. If you tap any of those items, you will immediately be taken to the page with that instance of the word. In addition, notice at the bottom of the pop-up window is an opportunity for you to search the web or to search Wikipedia for that word as well. Let's take a look at the next item in the upper right hand corner. It's indicated by the A. The top item in this menu allows you to adjust the brightness of your screen. While you can adjust the brightness of your screen in other places on your iOS device, it's handy to have this for reading so that you can adjust while you're reading. You can also change the size of the font. Tap the small a to make the font smaller. Tap the large a to make the font larger. You can also change the size, excuse me, the style of your fonts. And finally, you can change the theme with which the book appears on the screen. You may prefer to have a solid white background of the page, the sepia tone, or for evening reading, the night tone. You can also choose for the book to display as a book, like we have it here, allowing you to flip the pages as though you would be flipping in a real book. You could choose full screen, which eliminates the book look on the screen, but still functions the same way by tapping on the side of your screen to scroll the pages. Finally, in themes, you can choose to scroll through the book. This makes the book one long page, and as you drink your finger from the bottom to the top, you can scroll through the pages. Let's take a look at some of the things that you can do with the text on the page. If you tap and hold any of the words on the page, they will highlight. If you've activated the speak feature in your accessibility features, one of the menus that will show is speak. You can also copy the word. You can show the definition for the word which will also allow you to search the web or Wikipedia for information about that word. You can highlight the word. When you tap the highlight button, you'll be presented with an additional menu indicating the color information for highlighting, which includes underlining as well. You can also choose to add a note related to the word.
You can also tap the note feature to add your note here. You can do a search for that word and locate it in other portions of the text just like if you use the magnifying glass feature in the upper right hand corner. And finally, you can share information about the part that you highlighted. When you share, you'll be presented with a menu indicating the method for which you will share, mail, messages, Twitter, Facebook, or to copy the information. As you're highlighting words, please realize you can also choose a group of words or an entire paragraph to highlight and you'll get similar menus. Also notice that as you made the notes like I did with rabbit, sternly, and eating, you have small little sticky note pictures on the margin of your page to indicate that there is a note associated with those highlighted words. Let's take a look at some other features. Before we do, I'm going to change our theme back to the book theme. You'll notice in the upper left hand corner you have a menu icon. If you tap the menu icon it takes you back to the table of contents for the book. To navigate through the book if you'd like to jump to any particular point in the table of contents you can scroll through to the point with which you'd like to view and simply tap the name of the chapter. Also in the table of contents you can view any bookmarks that you have created and simply tap to go directly to the bookmarks location. And finally, you can tap the notes feature. You'll see the page numbers where the notes were taken, the highlighted portion for the note or highlight, and if the note was added, you'll see the text for those notes. You'll also notice in the upper right hand corner, you now have a share button. You can choose to share these notes or edit the notes. Let's go back to our library. We'll finish up with a quick tour of the iBook store. Simply tap the store icon in the upper left hand corner. My most recent search was on dog training. To complete a search, simply, simply tap the search bar in the upper right hand corner. Type in your search or choose from the searches suggested and tap search. The list will populate with books that fit your search parameters. To browse information about the book, simply tap the cover picture for the book. A window will pop up giving you more details about that title. You have three tabs, details, ratings and reviews, and related. You can read the description about the book or scroll through to see other details such as the publisher, publishing date, etc. You can also tap to see the ratings and reviews of the book. The ratings are indicated by a star rating. You can also see the book reviews down below and write your own review. If you tap related, you'll see other books that may be of interest to you based on your interest in the first book. If you choose to purchase the book, you'll tap the price tag for the book. Some books are free and the price tag will simply say free. If you're unsure if you'd like to read the book but would like to get a sample first, simply tap the sample icon. When you're done previewing the information on this page, simply tap anywhere outside the preview page to go back to your search. There are other ways to locate books in the library. Notice the toolbar at the bottom of your screen that indicates Featured, New York Times, Top Charts, and Top Authors. You can browse through this books this way, much like you would if you were in a bricks and mortar bookstore. If you'd like to get more information about a book, just as before, simply tap the information with the book cover 
and you can see all of the details about the book. When you're done looking at the details and information about the book, or you've made your purchase, simply tap outside the window. Note that when you are in the top charts and browsing for books, you'll get two lists. A top chart of paid books on the left-hand list, and a top chart of the free books in the right-hand list. You can also check out the New York Times bestsellers, which are sorted and ordered for fiction and nonfiction. You can also take a look at the top authors. If you have already purchased books, you can tap the remaining tab with the purchased books, and books that you have not yet downloaded to your device can be downloaded at that time. This concludes the training for iBooks.